Hey everybody, if you have thin hair like mine and the crochet method just didn't work for you when you are trying to achieve your locks or twists, then stick around. I'm going to show you how I achieve my passion twists and if you like my hairstyle, I will show you that as well. Starting now. All right, everybody, so thanks for coming in. I'm gonna start out by moisturizing my hair with the Curls Creamy Brulee Leave-In Conditioner, and I'm gonna rub that throughout my hair to moisturize it so it won't get dry, and I'm gonna rub it into my scalp as well. Next, I'm gonna add Eco Styler Gel. It helps me to smooth out my hair and gives me extra hold. Now, if you're liking what you see so far, please go on and hit that like and subscribe button. Alrighty, and next I'm gonna use my toothbrush. And yes, it's a brand new toothbrush that I bought just for my hair. And I'm gonna use it to smooth out my edges so that I'll be ready for parting. Now I'm gonna begin creating my parts so that they will be ready for me to begin adding my rubber bands. Let me tell y'all, I was so excited. I got my crochet needle and I was about to do my crochet method and I stuck my crochet needle into my hair and it started to rip. I'm like, uh-uh, not today. So I made this hair video for the sisters with the thin, slippery hair like mine. I decided to use the rubber band method, so I'm going to begin putting the rubber bands on to my already parted hair. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead now. I'm pretty sure you know how to do the parting and putting on the rubber bands. If you don't, let me know. All right? And don't forget, if you like what you see, you know what to do. Okay, now here's how it looked after I finished putting all of my rubber bands in. And after that, I tied my hair up so that it could dry. And when it dried, that it would dry smooth and straight. Now here comes the fun part, y'all. I get to put in my crochet hair. Now I can't remember the name of this hair, but I'll leave you a link in the description box so you'll know which kind it was. But check this out, y'all. Did you know that you could use crochet hair even if you're not using a crochet needle? Well, just watch this. All you do is stick your finger through the little loop, stretch it at the bottom a bit, and then separate. And there you have a whole long piece of hair. Simply repeat that method until you have the amount of strands that you need. I'm gonna start out by using two at a time. Now the first time I did this, I caught myself just wrapping it around my hair and the rubber band and going ahead and twisting it on down. Nope, I finished the whole braid and I pulled on a little bit and it came right off. Don't laugh, well I sure did, but I found out that I have to do a regular braid until I get almost down past my hair and then I can go ahead and do the twist. Tell me what time is it y'all? You know, go ahead, thank you. Alrighty, now here's what gives it the messy, distressed, butterfly lock look when you add the extra piece of hair when I'm done with this one. Now I'm more of a neat freak, so I didn't give it that much of a distressed look, but you can make it as distressed or as messy as you want to do it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take the third piece of hair and I'm gonna wrap it around one side Keep wrapping it around that same piece of hair and I'm gonna put the other side of that hair to the side so I can do that separately. You'll see me throw it up there in a second. So hopefully you can understand what I'm saying. There you go. Now did you see that? I just flung that other piece of the hair to the side so that I can continue wrapping the first strand of hair around the braid that I already braided. Now, the looser or more irregular that you wrap it, the more distressed it will look. Now, did that make sense, y'all? It's a little easier to show you than it is to explain it, so I hope you got that. Okay, so now that I'm finished, just about finished, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the other strand and I'm going to begin wrapping it around and around and around and around to get to the bottom. You could do it as tight or as loose as you want to. Gone, make my day. Hit that like and subscribe button. 
thank you. So what is your favorite braided hairstyle? I think this one, y'all, is the one for me. With half of my hair cut off, and all I have to do is like, what's that, 10 braids? It's the winner for me. And I do it like once a week, I'm good. What about you? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you haven't figured out by now, I love to talk, so that would be great to hear from you. Okay now, so I'm gonna speed this up because I want y'all to see the end, okay? Hold on. Now see that y'all? Look at it. I like it. It could be more distressed, like I said, if you wrap it looser, but I like that. Now look at this. Look at how many braids I got in in 30 seconds. I'm so fast. Y'all put fire under my feet. So right here, you're going to see me repeating the process of starting with the two strands of hair. And I first begin braiding them down until I get to almost the end of my own hair. And then I start two strand twisting. So let me know, what do you think? Does this process seem easier to you than like, say for instance, maybe doing box braids? Drop me a comment and let me know. I like it, I like it. So this is my last braid, y'all. I'm gonna let you see how I wrap that third piece of hair one more time, but I'm gonna be quiet this time so you can concentrate. Now, did you see that, y'all? I'm wrapping it around and I'm wrapping it around. Yeah, and I'm wrapping around some more. I'm sorry, I was supposed to be quiet, huh? I can't help it, y'all, I love to teach. All right now, I'm gonna do this one more time, y'all. I'm not begging, I'm just reminding you, okay? Here it is, thank you. All right now, look at me, I am finished braiding. So I'm gonna put it up, I'm gonna get me a rubber band, see how the back looks, see how the front looks. I gotta get it just right, you know that. I'm gonna get my rubber band and I'm gonna put it up in a ponytail. Ladies, only we know the satisfaction of getting to this place right here where you have finished braiding. You might have been sitting up all night braiding your hair, but then when you get that, put the last touches on that stuff, put that rubber band or do whatever you are gonna do to it, it is freedom. Go on and laugh, you know it's true. Alrighty, now that I just about got the rubber band on, I'm gonna twist it up and I'm twist it around and around and down and a down. I know y'all think I'm silly, but I'm just happy because I'm getting to the end of this hairstyle and to the end of this voiceover for my video, okay? Alrighty, and once I get to the bottom of this braid, I'm gonna go ahead and put a rubber band on it to keep it in place. And then I'm gonna wrap it around and around into a bun, honey. And just look at that. It just worked perfectly on the first take, so I didn't have to redo this. That just made my day. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it's in place and check this out, my own DIY hair accessory. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that on. If you didn't catch what the word said, it says hope, one of my favorite words. If you like it, please leave me a comment and tell me so. All right, y'all, so the moment you've been waiting for, take a look and tell me what you think. There's a side view, there's the other side view, the back view, and the front view. So what you think, y'all? Did you enjoy my hair video? You like my hairstyle? How about my hair accessory? If you like, please leave me a comment and tell me so. And if you don't like, tell me that too. Please share my video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.